away from. What does he say? According to my producer, he says, if you empty your pocket into your stomach, hallelujah, it becomes a waste. But when you empty your pocket into your brains, your skulls, it becomes an investment. Yeshua Hamashiach. Listen once again. If you empty your pocket, you empty your pocket, it becomes waste. But when you empty your pocket into your brains, it becomes an investment. Ethiopian proverb. And what does it mean? I would want to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, this proverb seeks to emphasize the importance of education. Be it formal or informal, it encourages us, you and I, to invest our money and time and skills into skills and acknowledge and knowledge acquisition. Pardon me, excuse me. Listen, when you invest money into education, be it formal or informal, do you know what it means? You can be a carpenter, you can be a taxi driver, you can be a church driver, you can be a mechanic when you invest money into education. You bought for yourself wisdom that will last forever. If you go to school to learn book and become a teacher, you become a professor, you become a doctor, you've acquired knowledge for yourself. Mm? And that is going to last you a very long time. Even though food is good for the body, when you want to satisfy your belly, do you know what happens one day? You will one day, I don't want to use this word, <laughs> it becomes a waste. After the body uses the food, it becomes a waste. And most definitely, it gets excreted through probably your anus. If your anus doesn't want to handle that, you can even vomit it out. Listen, so those of you who waste your money on a petashi, you want to drink all the drinks in the world, you want to eat a pork, you want to eat a goat meat, you want to chill, eat a tilapia and feel so big, and say, oh, I am having a good time. Today, the African proverb is telling us that it is good to waste more time on education, formal or informal. Today, Amaka was telling me that he wants somebody to teach her how to do table of content. And I said to her, Amaka, that is one of the easiest things when you are writing your thesis, when you are doing your project work. That is one of the easiest things that you should know. And she's been struggling to do this. But the African proverb of the day is telling you that waste much of your time and money on education. Be it formal or informal, one day you will live to appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the African proverb of the day. This is something that you must appreciate. This is something that you must love. This is something that you must abide with. It should be like a Bible. Listen, it should be like a Bible. In your body and soul, but if you want to waste all your money on food, eh, the kinky and pepper, the gari and shito, the fufu, the bambara beans, and you want to eat all the meat in the world and feel big, one day you will go to the hospital and they will tell you that uh, uh, you have blood pressure, you have diabetes, and what have you. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if possible, if possible, if possible, why not just listen to uh, these beautiful words and this African proverb. Tomorrow we're going to share with you more in something that will give you enough inspiration. Remember exactly 2 p.m. under that. I did tell you that my brethren, Giovanni Caleb will be coming with a drive time. Mm. Listen, we were friends back in school. He was one of the choir students in school. He used to walk in straight lines with his two hands in his pockets. Today, oh my God, he's an entertainer, he's an MC, he's a lover boy, he's controlling the whole capital and beyond. I can't wait to hand over to him. But remember, hey, I'm just sitting in for Black Rasta, <laughs> Salaga Soldier, my brethren, a man I love to the maximum. 
A man has salute is a prophet of God. Today, they say in the African history class. Hey, Black Obi, can you take them through? Let's see what I go on. Let's see what happens. Let's see how we are going to take it. It's going to be another fire team. It is 15 minutes past the eye well of one. And I understand that the African history class, where so many people are seated and waiting, so many people are holding, holding their books because they have seen a new teacher in the class. Hey, I can see Dwabi. Yeah, man, I can see conscious Agbemenu Ahosu. Yeah, man, I can see Bolo in the class. I can see Biblical. I can see who, 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 who is in the class. I can see somebody like uh, uh, King Gali from Ashama in the class. I can see so many people in the class. And Black Rasta says, come and teach them. It is very difficult to take over uh, from the professor who has been teaching for a very long time. Who has given you the power to go and educate them? He says to me, Hey, Black Kobe, I'll be seated in class watching you. I want to check how you are going to educate our people. Listen, I did tell him that, hey, Togby, this is one of the most difficult things that you want me to do off guard. He caught me off guard. But let's see what I'm going. Let me play this tune and when I come back. We go very, very straight into the African history class. She left the party. Have a good time. Joe, I don't want your bone, Maria. Right, just next, Mama Kitata. <laughs> 